Uh, sorry, not sorry. I have a question. I only transmit on GMRS. Currently have a KB9 VBR J pole antenna. What benefits would I see with the common GP9 NC over the J pole? Um, now is the GP9 the GP9? I think is an, a ham antenna, isn't it? Or is uh, the? Let's take a look here. GP9. Oh, it is a GMRS FRS antenna. Oh, it is. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's supposed to be there. So, I mean, realistically, you're going to have... I'm pulling it up here. Let me look at the specs on it. Um, well, I can tell you right now, mine is a lot cheaper than $265. So. <laughs> yeah, well, there is that. You get, a, you get a, uh, some vertical antenna gain, but uh, is that really going to help with GMRS frequencies? Uh, not too much. This would be a collinear style antenna. Um, I don't know what they have for gain. Let's see, 16 feet tall, 200 watts, um, 9 dB a gain on a GMRS. Uh, my J pole is going to have about 3 dB a gain, you know, 9 dBi versus 3 dBi. So that would be what, um, 2S units? Mm -hmm. One, so what? Well, one and a half S unit. So. Yeah, one, one and a half S units. Um, depending on what, you, how much power you're running. Mm-hmm. Eh, yeah, you know, I, I think if you're running, what is a, what's the max on GMRS? Fifty watts. Fifty watts. For the base station. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, are you going to see a difference? Two hundred dollar difference in performance? Yeah. Marginal. So. It depends. Yeah. It depends on what your, you know, terrain and whatnot. What your yeah, what your area is like. Right. You know, it's. If I was putting up a GMRS repeater, you know, maybe, I think this would be a would be a good you know a good choice. But right. um, you know, for home use, um, boy, you know, thirty dollars versus two hundred sixty five. I know where I'm going to put my money. Right, right. You put put your money in better feed line. <laughs> yeah, there you, you know, go. Cut your cut your losses down. Yeah, yeah. Get a get a GMRS J pole and um, fifty feet of LMR four hundred. You you're, you're you you've you've still spent half half the amount of money of, right. of this antenna. Right, and your losses on GMRS frequencies are a lot less of the LMR four hundred. So yeah, yeah. So. Okay, sorry, he's got a follow up here. 50 watts at 50 feet high with LMR. I'm trying to get up over a hill to hit my repeater better. Um, yeah, boy, if you're trying oh boy. to get up over a hill, it's, it's all about height. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, the gain isn't going to help you at all if you got a rock in your, in your way, especially at, yeah. on um, a UHF frequencies. Yeah, you might, you know, a directional antenna like a Yagi might help because you can kind of knife edge over the hill but um no it's i don't know it's that's you, you know you you might be in a real tough situation um what i would probably recommend doing is um do some antenna modeling um you can you know there's 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 program there's a website like radio mobile and uh, that would be a good place to start to, mm -hmm. um, I'll pull it up here. And something like this, you can enter the, um, it's a, and that's just at, at um, I don't know, what says ve2dbe.com. Um, this, what this site will do is um, you can enter in your location, you know, your tower height, your antenna, your power transmit power and all that um, frequency. And it will model all of those um, variables for you. And um, let me see if I can. Sh um, I don't know if I can. I don't know if he's got any. Which, yeah, the uh, the uh, online here. Here is the online version. You can just create an account, and it'll it'll plot a map so you can see exactly, you know, what your coverage will be, you know, and what it will take to get over that mountain. And um, that might be the, 
you know, before I spent a lot of money on an antenna, I would do a, I would do some um, modeling in, in a program like this to see if it's even possible to to do what you what you want to do. Look at Colin here says, yeah, the extra gain will help, um, but um, you know, it's just not going to work in a hilly you know a hilly area is 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 is, is the big wild card. And he follows up with. Um, you're better off with the lower gain antenna to get over the hill. So stick with the J pole, just get it up higher. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I'm going to tend, I'm going to tend to agree with that. It's just, yeah, you're not gonna, I, I, I think that, you know, spending all that money, you know, without you know, either doing some, either doing some simulations or modeling, you mm -hmm. know, it's, I, I don't, I don't think you're going to be happy in the long run. Right. So. And we're, and it, we're not just trying to solve J poles here. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're trying to well, sell J-Poles here. We did that <laughs> at the bottom of the hour. No. Um, but Michael is the first person to tell you that there are limitations to any antenna with the J-Pole included. Yep. Okay. So um, just, just keep that as a grain of salt as well. If, if there were a better antenna for mm -hmm. this particular situation, I'm sure we would let you know about it. And I would, but, I would tell you about it. And that's why, mm -hmm. and that's why I'm, I'm kind of pushing, you know, using, you know, using something like radio mobile and, or some elevation tools just to mm -hmm. kind of, so that you know what you're up against um, before you before you commit to spending a lot of money on anything. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.